doesn't know what sort or what type or what form she can use. She knows that there is a difference between will and be going to. But I see that see, she still keeps the smile. That means she is still optimistic and she is, ho uh, she is hopeful and uh, she believes that she can have the answer. Before giving her any details, we're gonna we're gonna give her some, uh, if you want, some ideas or uh, a briefing about the form of the future, will, and then be going to. Will and be going to are two forms that are used for the future. Let's start with will. Can we have a look? Mm -hmm. Yes. I believe that you see will negative form will not and the question we have a sort of inversion of the order of the subject and auxiliary. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to consider that will like all the models that we have in English language, never change. They never take S when we have she it. They are never followed by do not. We just take not. And whenever we have a question, an inversion is quite enough to ask the right question. I think it's very easy. Okay? Good. Now, let's move to the second form, be going to. Be going to, all what you are going to do is to examine and consider to be. So, the way you conjugate to be in person simple, I am, you are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She is, he is. We got it for we add not. And also, when we have a question, we need the inversion because to be is also an auxiliary. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. If you need more time, you can pause or you rewind and you watch very well and then you can continue. So now guys, we see these are people with a lot of questions. I believe that the first one is gonna ask the following question. Hey, when can I use will? And the second one for sure is gonna ask a different question. It's gonna be, sorry, it's gonna be, when can I use be going to? Please be calm. Not hurry. Cool down. We are gonna give some examples. Just follow my steps. And then everything is gonna be right and everything is gonna be uh, fine. Look at this example. I will make this place clean. I will make this place clean. I see the three guys are doing good job, guys. Okay, volunteering, very nice. Okay, the park is clean. Huh? That looks uh, looks very fine. Yeah. So when we look at these uh, people we are going to ask some questions. This a person, when he says, I will make this a place clean, is he, does he want to express volunteering and the promise? Or he is a planning something? I repeat, when I say, I will make this a place clean, is it an expression of a certain feeling of volunteerism 
or in the promise, promising to do something, or he is uh, planning something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. So the speaker here expresses volunteering. He volunteer and he promises to do something in future. Up, oh, what is he saying that's going to happen in future? Place mm -mm. will be mm -mm. will be clean. That's why he says, "I will make this a place clean." You get the point? Yes, guys. Thank you very much. So let's move now to an example. You see the gentleman there, the one, the Zay. I will send you some information about gardening. I will send you some information about gardening. So this a person, is he planning or promising to do something? Yes. The person here again promises and he is doing that on volition. He's not doing that because he's paid or something. No, he wants to help. He has this desire, this willingness, this volition to, desire, to, to help the lady or the person next to him. He says, I will send you some information it's a promise it's a material promise if we take this lady example two she says i will help you plant trees we can say i help you to plant or i help you plant it's the same i will help you plant a tree plant trees here again what's the lady is doing Yes, it's volunteering and it's a promise. Back, 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 back. I will make this a place clean. Mm -mm -mm. What do I express? Can you guess again, guys? Yes, very good. It's volunteering. It's promise. It's not plan. It's something that's going to happen in future, but I promise to do it. I volunteer to do it. Don't worry. I'm here to help. Mm -mm. I'll send you some information about gardening. Again, this person, what is he doing? Yes, right answer. He promises to provide his partner with some information about how to garden. Very good. And the last one. Mm -hmm. Also, the lady is very generous. She promises to help the guy there to do what? To plan. So all the three guys are promising and they are, don't forget, volunteering. That's it. Very good. Very good, guys. Now, I'm going to take you a little bit far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, the question that we can ask, we use will when we have... Can you read it? Bravo! Very good! We use will when we promise to do something in the future or when we volunteer to do something of course in the future very good guys very good all right now i take you to some practice and we always say practice makes uh, practice makes perfect and practice and progress so please i have here for you three sentences so which of the following sentences are about promising and volunteering i'm sorry there is one which is wrong it's not about volunteering and it's not about promising. So take 20 seconds to think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
yes, thank you very much. I'm sure that you agree with me if I say that sentence number hmm, three is a wrong. Exactly. So I will help you to do the housework and I will take you, there is no you there, so please just add it. I will take you to the airport so both the sentences are not promising and volunteering. Very good. Very good, guys. Very good. So now we come to the rule. Uh, the monkey pondering asks us, when do you, when do you use the will? Answering. Hmm. Wait, I know the answer. It is. We use will for future action. When we express. What? Volunteering. Or when we want to give what? A promise. That's it, guys. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you get the lesson, I hope that you get the instructions, I hope you understand what you, what you have here. So now we move to the practice, first part of the practice which can happen, uh, that you are going to do uh, at home in the first part of the flip learning uh, class and the second part which is mu much more laid on engaging and speaking and communicating is going to be in class, inshallah, so to be continued. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.